Man, what is going on, y'all? It's Monday. Back to work for some of us. Some of y'all ain't got no motherfucking job, so y'all just sitting at home on your ass. And hey, that's cool. If you are right, but not working and not having no money in your pocket, hey, more power to your brother or sister to each his own. But anyways, man, check it out. I got a little team death match here on the BioLab map. As you can see, I'm using the STG-44. That's that Call of Duty throwback weapon right there. Got the gold camo unlocked for that thing. Got it looking nice and pretty. You know what I'm saying? But um, check it out, man. So, I'm a noob when it comes to online gaming. I haven't even been online gaming for a year yet. I think uh, November. Or uh, maybe at the end of October will make a year for me. Whatever, about, about a week or two before Advanced Warfare came out was when I first started playing. So, I'm a noob when it comes to gaming, man. But... There's one thing that I can't stand, and it's crazy how often you see it in gaming now. And that's cheating, man. Any type of cheating, whether it's glitches or God mode or aim bots or whatever, man. I can't believe people actually cheat, play video games and cheat. Like back in the day, you know, we had like Game Genie and you know, we had cheat codes and shit for games or whatever so that, you know, we could have an advantage and beat the game because let's face it, some of the older games that we had back in the day, man, were like damn near impossible to win. Super Mario Brothers, hardest fucking game ever, man. I, I still, to this very day, can't beat that motherfucking game without cheating. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, we had cheat codes back in the day, man. And, you know, we had Game Genie. I remember we I had all the cheat codes for, for Duke Nukem 3D, God Mode, and, and Unlimited Ammunition and all that shit. But it's crazy to still see that people actually go into lobbies, I on, in particular, on Call of Duty, and they cheat, and they find glitches. I was playing Team Deathmatch, and I wish I didn't capture the gameplay. I wish I would have captured that shit. Some chick glitched all the way off the map like to the, to the left hand side on the on the new map I think it's called fracture and she glitched all the way off to the left hand side where the where the little avalanche thing happens in, in the in the the ice splits the ground or whatever she was way off the map because I could see her shooting people from off the map off of the off of the gameplay area but you couldn't see where the fuck she was at and I was just like really like where did where did, where or when did you find the time to find out that you could do that bullshit? And furthermore, why are you doing it? You know what I'm saying? Anytime I go into a lobby and I see somebody jumping up against the wall or a building or something, I know it's some bullshit they saw they saw on YouTube or somebody told them, hey man, you know if you jump up against this wall three times, you can you can glitch into the wall and kill people without them seeing you. That shit is so fucking stupid to me, man. Like it just takes the fun out of gaming, man. Or people who use aimbots and and hack lobbies and shit like that. Like you, I don't too much see it on PlayStation on PS4. Um, and I will say that when I do see it, man, normally they, they do a pretty good job of catching people doing stupid shit like that. But every so often, man, you'll get in a lobby and, and somebody will be doing some dumb shit. And you can tell they're cheating. And I, I, that's one thing, man. I just can't fucking stand. Like I, I just can't tolerate that shit, man. Like I'll rage quit if somebody's doing that shit. I'll rage quit. I hate that shit with a passion. It's like, just play the fucking game, man. Have fun playing the game. And if you suck at the game, then just, just fucking suck at the game. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't come in the lobby and hack and cheat and glitch and do all types of stupid shit to have an advantage over everybody else. You know, that's to me, that shit is just fucking... It's cheesy. It's some punk-ass gaming tactics. And it's it's just stupid, man. I don't like it. But, um... I don't know. It's crazy. But anyway, man, y'all just check this gameplay out, man. I'm loving this STG-44. Like, the recoil on this shit is, is ridiculous. But I finally unlocked the gold camel, so I went ahead and threw some attachments on there. So I believe I'm running Quick Draw, the Red, red Dot Sight, and um, and the foregrip on there to help with that recoil a little bit. But this motherfucking gun right here puts suckers down so quick, it don't make no sense. As long as you can control that recoil, man, I would suggest anybody please use this gun. I'm using the, the Relic version, the Legendary version right now. But I, I got two more. I've got the base variant, and I think I have the Vampire. But I'm using this one for right now. But anyway, man, y'all enjoy the gameplay. Um, I'm going to try to come up with uh, some more commentaries, man. I got a bunch of gameplays 
that I'm gonna post here eventually. And eventually I'm gonna do some some live commentaries once I get my web camera and my Vegas video up and running and all that. But anyway, man, don't forget like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel, man. All comments are welcome. I'm gonna answer every single one of them. And um uh, good or bad comments man just leave them shits down below the video and don't forget to follow me on instagram and twitter and i'm out